The Jack Benny Program. an emergency. Maybe something happened to Mary. Where are my slippers? Coming. Coming. Gee, I hope they don't hang up. the disc jockey. At four o'clock in the morning, are you crazy? <laughs> what? If I were you, mister, I'd crawl out of that phone booth, get a cup of black coffee, and go home. <laughs> go home? If you don't, you'll hate yourself in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, you're just a smart aleck. Now, let me talk to the head operator. I'm sorry, but the head telephone operator is busy. Well, then let me talk to the supervisor. The supervisor isn't in. Would you like to talk to Alexander Graham Bell? <laughs> Look, I'd like to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, I'll never get back to sleep. Imagine being awakened at 4 o'clock in the morning by a silly disc jockey get the craziest phone calls. I didn't have such a good laundry business, I'd take my name out of the book. <laughs> the yellow pages. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why didn't Rochester answer the phone? <laughs> I'm that sound asleep. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Rochester, Rochester, why didn't you answer the phone? <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning. He's not even in yet. Well, he'll hear about this. It wasn't even his night off. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I hear a key in the front door. I'd like to see him get out of this. <laughs> oh, Rochester! <laughs> what are you doing up on your toe? I'm dancing the menu. Yo! 
Rochester. Rochester. Now, look, you can stop with that silly dance. You're not fooling anybody. Now, what's the idea of coming in this hour of the morning? Coming in? Yes, I saw you open the door and come in. Oh, oh, that! I just stepped out to see if the milk had come yet. <laughs> just got out of bed to see if the milk had come. Mm -hmm. Do you expect me to believe that? I'd have a better argument if I was wearing pajamas. Now, right. now, look, Rochester, it's very obvious that you were just coming home. Now, I want to know where you've been. Well, last night, the club I belong to had a social gathering. Mm -hmm. And the president had intentions of breaking it up at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, eh? Well, if that was his intention, what happened? At 9.30, we elected a new president. <laughs> We'll talk about this in the morning. Now go to your room. Yes, sir. Good night, boy. Good night. I'll never get to sleep now. See, now I don't even feel sleepy. In fact, I feel good. You know, a lot of people get up early in the morning and take long walks before breakfast. You see, the exercise keeps them young and healthy. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need, exercise. Yes, sir. Yep, that'll be good for me. Now, lately, when I tell people I'm 39, some of them don't believe it. <laughs> Including me. <laughs> I'll take seven more years, even if it is bad luck. <laughs> The sun will be up soon. Yep, I'm going to get dressed and take a nice long walk. Yeah. I think I'll call Mary. Maybe she'd like to go with me. Hello? Oh, hello, Mary. Who is this? This is Jack. Jack, what's the matter? Nothing. I just called to ask if you'd like to go for a walk with me. Go for a walk? What time is it? 20 minutes to 5. 20 minutes to 5? Yeah, the sun is up. Jack. What? Have you been eating those rum lifesavers again? <laughs> I told him to get a cup of black coffee and go home. <laughs> you keep out of it. Anyway, it's none of your business. But Mary, I'll tell you what, you get dressed and I'll pick you up in about... <laughs> he hung up. Yeah, I don't care what Mary says. I'm going to take a nice long walk. Gosh, it's the first time I've ever been out at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> See, Los Angeles is a wonderful place to live. Ah, the air smells so good. See, this early in the morning when there's no smog, there's... Visibility. <laughs> I can't believe Me, is this Camden Drive? We.
Hey, my feet are sore. Well, Jack, if you uh, took such a long walk, you must have gotten up pretty early. Early? I'll say I did. Some silly guy called Hank the Disc Jockey woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. No kidding. Did he ask you how many pounds of spaghetti it would take to go around the world? Yeah. How'd you know? I won $10 for sending in the question. <laughs> you? Look, you? Jack, look, Jack, the, the sportsman in a hurry, and really, we're in a spot. I'm so tired, I can hardly keep my eyes open. Can't keep your eyes open? Hey, that's a wonderful idea. What's a wonderful idea? Hit it, fellas. You better wake up. Wake up, you sleepy head. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, son, it's time that you were rising. When the red, red robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along, along, there'll be no more sobbing when he starts robbing his own sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepy head. Get up. Get up, get out of bed, cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red, live, love, laugh and be happy, what if I be blue, now I'm walking through fields of flowers, rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours, I'm just a kid again, do what I did again, singing a song, when the red, red robin comes, bob, 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 and along. going in and wake him up. That's what he did to me at 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Jack. Jack. Whistler's mother. Oh. Oh, Joe Mary, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Well, you told me you wanted to buy a new suit today and you wanted me to go with you. What was it, today? Yeah, I'm, I'm so tired. Well, it's your own fault. Imagine getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. What you won't do to see the sunrise over the California bank. That's not the reason I got up. You can blame it all on Hank, the all-night disc jockey. I don't know what you're talking about, Jack. All I know is that you want me to go shopping with you. Now, let's go. But Mary, I'm so tired. Oh, Jack, you've been postponing it so long. Look, we can catch the bus right on the corner. Well, okay. Mary, we're going out. Why'd you take off your stove? Well, if you're going to wear one. <laughs> Oh, stop griping. Now, that wasn't such a long ride. But why do we have to get on such a crowded bus? It was, I was, had to stand all the time, and I'm so tired. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Instead of holding on to the strap, you stuck your head through the loop and fell asleep. Well, what's funny about that? At the next stop, a man got on, took one look at you dangling there, and said, I know his last show was bad, but he didn't have to go that far. Oh, he probably just did that for a gag. Then why'd he cut you down? Mary, I haven't got time to argue. And anyway, if you'd have let me wear the shawl, I'd have had a seat. Now, come on.
<clears throat> Jack, stop yawning. I can't help it. Yeah, I'm so sleepy, I can hardly keep my eyes open. Well, this won't take very long. Oh, here comes the clerk now. Well, are you my little customer? <laughs> Mary, let's go home. Not till you get what you came for. A uh, clerk, Mr. Benny would like to buy a new suit. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Who are you looking for? Well, the photographers. This must be a publicity stunt. <laughs> Now, look, I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, and I'm in no mood. Oh, well, Mr. Nelson. Pardon me. Yes? Mr. Gordon said you wanted to see us. Yes, I want you to redress all the mannequins in our department and finish that window display. Yes, sir. Hey, now, uh, where were we? Uh, Rip Van Winkle would like to buy a suit. <laughs> Jack. Well, I'm sure we can find something to fit you. Uh, follow me. Here we are. I'm uh, sure you'll like our price range. I have some beautiful suits at $150, and then I have some as cheap as $29. Well, I wouldn't want anything as expensive as $150, and still I wouldn't want anything as cheap as $29. I'd like something in between. About thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see those. Nelson, you're wanted in the credit department. I'll be right back. While we're here, why don't you get a new tuxedo? You know, the one you have is so old fashioned. My tuxedo old fashioned? Well, maybe it used to be, but not anymore. Well, Jack, just because the moths ate the belt off the back doesn't make it modern. <laughs> I mean, I noticed the sleeves were too short. Oh. Certainly have a nice selection here. Pretty colors, too. <laughs> Jack, here's a nice... What are you wandering all over the store for? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, there you are. I'm sure you'll find something you like on this rack. What in the world is this? Oh, this was an idea of our designer, Mr. Sinekin. But it isn't selling. It's called the Wilshire Boulevard model. The, the Wilshire Boulevard model? Yes. If you're hit by a car, you can lay there without tying up traffic. <laughs> Mary, look, I'm tired. Let's go home. Uh, Mr. Nelson. Yes? I think Mr. Benny's gonna buy a new tuxedo. He's had the same one for 20 years. My, it must be green by now. Green? The other day, he hung it outside to air, and the gardener pruned the sleeves. <laughs> well, first we'll sell him a suit, and then we'll see what we can do. Fine. Mary! Mary! Look, now, I want to go home. I'm exhausted. Look, Jack, we're not going to leave here until you get a new suit. If they haven't got one to fit you, maybe they can make one to order. Say, that's a brilliant idea. You know, a suit made to order will give you a much better fit. All right, all right. Uh, step right over here. Now, uh, shall I measure your chest, or would you rather not know? <laughs> now, cut that out. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you've decided to have a suit made to order. We have a beautiful selection of materials. Uh, step back here, and I'll show you. Now, here we are. Here's a very nice blue serge. Isn't that nice? Yes, but I think I... <laughs> Let me see. Mr. Nelson, this is beautiful material. Jack, I picked the most wonderful... <laughs> now where did he go? <laughs> I understand. 
understand where he could have gone. Where could he have disappeared to? I'm sure I don't know, Miss Livingston. <laughs> Look, Mr. Nelson, do something. He's somewhere around here. Well, if you like, I'll call the police department and ask him to send out a 705 and a half. A 705 and a half? What's that? Look, but not too hard. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He said he wanted to go home. Oh, that's right. Maybe I'll go outside and take a look. Okay. silly store. Well, it's your own fault for falling asleep. Well, I don't care. I'm going home. I've had enough. Well, if you go home now, you'll never get a suit. All right, I'll get a suit. I'll buy this. I'll take this one here, and I'll take this blue one, and this one. I'll take the real chair Boulevard one. Well, how do you know it's your size? I don't care whether it's my size or not. And I'll take these ties, all of these ties, and shirts. I'll now four shirts. Just watch it. I'll take this. I'll take these ties. Too. I'll take another suit. Here's a blue suit. I'll take this blue suit. This shirt. The hat. I'll take a hat. No. Three sixty-six North Camden Drive, Beverly Hill. Yeah, Goodbye. Well, 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 just a moment, Mr. Benny. Uh, we always like to check on our advertising. Now tell me, did you come in because you saw our ad in the newspaper, or did you hear our commercial on the radio? Radio? Yes, we sponsor Hank, the all-night disc jockey. <laughs> I'm of Rochester. I don't want any phone calls or any disturbances of any kind. Will you please close the blinds so it'll be nice and dark in here? Yes. Take another walk. 